Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Taurus. We have Judgment, so Scorpio energy. Mm. Somebody wants another chance, but Spirit says they're going to be making you some false promises here. <laughs> they're going to try to play on your emotions. Yeah, your soft spot that you have for them could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Tell me more. We have the world. So somebody, whoever this person is, they could be, when they come in to ask for this second chance, making these false promises and trying to play on your emotions, they're about to have clarity that you have like detached from them or you, a cycle is done. Like they can't come in and do this anymore or they're going to maybe feel that they've run out of chances or that they can't make, you're not believing the false promises anymore. They can't play on your your emotions anymore because you have um, a detached emotionally or you've gotten like you have more discipline when it comes to your emotions now okay tell me more about judgment we have manifesting i'm telling you somebody wants you back somebody wants to have another chance with you they, they maybe been trying to manifest you back like trying to get you to come towards them tell you cannot be trusted we have six of pentacles mm. yeah they're gonna be trying to tell you that they want something balanced possibly or that things will be more fair. They're going to be more giving. They're going to give more to the connection. Spirit says that this is not true or they're going to be lying here or they're going to promise. It's going to be a false promise. Even if they mean it at the time, they're not going to follow through. Say about King of Swords. Okay, too many. Say about King of Swords. I don't think King of Swords. This person could have ghosted you for some of you. Yeah, cold as ice. I'm telling you. This person is very inconsiderate. Just know, guys, this person is still not in their heart space either. Like, they're still like very emotionally stunted or emotionally uh, unavailable. Like this person is very, they, they're very inconsiderate. Tell me more about the world, the sun. Well, something, some type of um, cycle is closing out here, coming to a completion. And this is positive, okay? It's leading to growth and happiness. Um, we do have the Knight of Pentacles on the back of the deck. What's that about? Somebody is slowly like waking up or something here. Somebody's like slowly what waking up or getting to a point where they'll be able to offer you something more solid like it's getting to the point where somebody somebody knows that they you're somebody that they don't want to lose okay they know that you are a catch that's how they view you um it's like they're slowly getting to that point where they're they're gonna have to surrender to this like they're gonna have no choice but to stop be vulnerable or stop acting like this king of swords keep cold as ice like this person's been, like, hiding their emotions or suppressing their emotions, not wanting to feel them. All right, so what does that mean for my collective spirit? What does that mean for my collective? Four of Wands. So you have a union come in. It may be taking some time. Whoever this person is, they're 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 taking forever in a lifetime. But what about Four of Wands? I'm telling you, the hair font here, that's a definite a marriage, commitment, stability, a wedding like that's what's what, what's this tell me more about what this means for my collective we have mirroring so for both of you to be able to have for you and this person to have this union spirit is calling for the both of you to go within for you to go within yourself and for them to go within themselves um i feel like also you guys both desire this deep down even if they are trying to act like they don't like you guys both to some degree desire to have this this commitment this marriage whatever some of you guys are maybe dealing with a Taurus. Tell me more. Five of Cups, though. What's the regret? Temperance. I don't know, guys. I just feel like somebody regrets, like, they're having regrets, so they do want to reconcile with you. Sagittarius energy here with temperance. Date. Yeah. Why are they in regret energy? See, this person regrets, like, Knowing that they have love for you, but trying to fight, it's like trying to fight their feelings and emotions or trying to fight with you instead of just coming to terms with their feelings and emotions. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio for some of you. Tell me more. Okay, hold on. We have Ace of Cups. Yeah. And let's see. Oh, the Two of Cups. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. This person loves the shit out of you. Yeah, the feelings are mutual, but they've been trying to not, they don't want you, like, what you've been wanting with this person, they want the same thing. So why have they been fighting with you on this, then? Why are they fighting? 
the, ooh, the Seven of Swords. What are the Seven of Swords? The Eight of Pentacles. Ooh. See, this person was secretly put in effort or work into a, a karmic partner or something like that. Yeah, secretly. There was somebody they were still investing in. Tell me more. What's this have to do with my collective, though? They're still, they've been still trying to work on something with another person, wishing that they, they want this with you. They want this Ace of Pentacles with you, but they, these feelings and emotions that they have for you, they still don't quite understand them because this person is in too logical, okay? They're trying to make sense of something that isn't going to probably ever make sense. Some, when it comes to love and emotions and feelings, sometimes that shit doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? Like, and this person's trying to make sense of that, although they know you make them very happy and you're all that they ever wanted. This person knows that they have some things that they have to release. It's almost like you're everything that this person has ever wanted, but it also burdens them. It like makes them feel very like, they feel like it's a big responsibility. They feel like you're a lot. They feel like you're a lot to handle. Like they feel like, not that you're a lot to handle, but. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and Karmic Partner. There's, of course, there's a Karmic Partner. See? This person still has to release somebody. Why are they holding on to this Karmic Partner? Um, trying to raise... Why are they hanging on to this Karmic Partner? Forbidden. For some of you, they did that because their friends or family wanted them with this person. Okay, but what does that do with why they're choosing that? Why are they holding on to that person then? Hermit. What's that do with my collective? Page of Swords. They're watching you. This person's whole... They're with somebody else. They're trying to resist the temptation of coming towards you. They feel like you guys... Maybe they feel like this other person is more like them. They feel like you guys are very different. Or they feel like they're, you're, their friends and family don't approve of you or something like that. But they're doing a lot of thinking. They're doing and watching. What are they finding? Or they're or they're going into hermit mode and they're realizing some things or they're learning some things. Yeah, what about the Ten of Pentacles? Wheel of Fortune. What's that do with my collective? The chariot. See, somebody's realizing that they want to move forward with you. And that maybe it's like they're having a shift in perspective here. Why were they trying to just force themselves to stay with this karmic? I don't understand. The nine of wands. It's like they were just trying to just deal with it and push through. But why, though? Two of Wands? Because they couldn't make up their mind? Why couldn't they... Why... Okay, so what, what was making them feel that they wanted to maybe stay with that person? See, it was toxic. Capricorn Energy. Hiding Feelings. Five of Pentacles. What are the Five of Pentacles? It's like this person's been trying to hide from another person that... They feel like they're they're sad over you. They miss you. They're, see, why are they holding on to something that they need to let go of? I, they're not really telling me. Why are they holding on to that? Why have they been holding on to it? It's something to do with them just being indecisive. But why were they indecisive about the other person? This person was not sure if like... How do I say this? They weren't sure if things were permanent between the two of you. Like, they didn't know if the, the, their feelings for you would change, if this was just something temporary. 10-10 on the camera. They didn't know if this was just something temporary or if, if this was real. Does that make sense? So they weren't, they didn't want to mess up whatever they had going on over there for something that was only going to be temporary. Does that make sense? Like, this person knows that you make them happy. They know that they're very attracted to you. They know that, you know, you're a catch. But this person was just not sure if you were going to stay or if, like, you y'all were going to stay together or if this was something that was going to end up being long term. Like, or so they weren't, they didn't, they, they kind of thought like this was going to maybe be uh, fleeting. Does that make sense? Or they weren't sure, like, they wanted to make sure that this was something that was going, that you were going to stay or something like that. Or that the two of you were going to actually be together. Like this was the real deal before they make a decision to choose you. They always have one. They don't want this other person. They don't. But but what is it that they're getting from that situation? Because like, what is it that they're getting from that? It could be sex for some of you. What are they getting from that? The fool? What are they getting from that other situation? See, it could be sex, guys. Yeah. I mean, maybe they get sex from that person, but they're not happy with that person. What does this have to do with the third party? 
magician. No, this person wants you sexually. What, what do they want with the third party then? Waiting, feeling of it's something that they get from that person. I don't know. This person's trying to be independent. Like they're they're codependent on that person, or literally financially dependent on that person, or something. What are they getting? How are they benefiting from the situation with the third party? How are they benefiting from the situation with the third party? I don't know, guys. I don't know. I really don't feel like it's anything. If anything, it's possibly sex, but I don't even feel like that's what they... I don't know. Um... We have Libra here too, Leo. All right, so confidence, success, enthusiasm, optimism, and fulfillment. What about that? We have, we have the sun, radiant sun. What about that? Friendship, being friends first, keeping it casual. Going out with friends. What's this have to do with my collective? Negative emotions. Anger and resent resentment. Frustration. Somebody feels mad. Is somebody mad right now because you are doing good? Somebody is mad. Somebody's triggered. That you're looking very confident. And you're having a lot of success. And you're feeling optimistic about your future. And you're having a lot of fulfillment. And they see you maybe going out with your friends. I don't know. This is stirring up a lot of negative emotions in this person. Tell me more about this. They feel like you've done them dirty or they're angry. They're frustrated. They're annoyed. Photographs. Yep. The pet. Now they want to re Ah, this person like they're watching you and they don't like when they see you, they see you being confident and you're happy without them. And you're hanging out with your friends and you're going out and they feel like you've done something to them by being happy without them. Okay. So they're going to return. What's this have to do with my collective? Yeah, but you're fed up. I'm telling you. Yep, fed up. Don't care anymore. Hard to please. This person puts you on a pedestal. They view as the emperor or the empress. All right, what you are. Okay. Uh, if it, you know it's one flame reading, but and they feel like you require a lot. That's what it burdens them. They feel like they're you. They will always have to work really, really, really hard to please you and to be good enough for you. I don't know why they view it that way. I don't know, but. You're, you're not, you're, you're fed up with them. Why? I already mean, I can already see why, but see, if they're not coming towards you with this energy, you're not, you don't want nothing to do with it. Proper offering, a gift or contribution, wanting to have something to offer, receiving an offer. Tell me more about this. Spiritual death. Ooh, rebirth process. See, this person, to be able to give you, like, Dark night of the soul. This person's about to go through the dark night of the soul. What does that have to do with proper offering, though? Give me one more voodoo doll Manip manipulation. See, this person's coming in with an offer, okay, or a gift or something, putting in a little bit of effort when they know they don't really have anything to offer you right now, especially if they're still holding on to somebody else. But, and this is like, yeah. Man manipulation scheming this is to maintain control over you or manipulate you in some way spiritual death tell me more about this spiritual death what's leading to this twin flame which we know this is a twin flame reading yeah life forever change yes they are your twin flame yin and yang what about spiritual death though she's a uni unicorn this person knows that they're gonna have to change i'm telling you this person's about to realize that the manipulation tactics aren't working no more the the false promises aren't working anymore if they want you if they want to, they're going to have to go through this. They're going to have to go through the dark night of the soul. They're going to have to go through a rebirth process. They're going to have to get their shit. To, they're going to have to work on themselves. And they're, they, they're going to do it, guys, because they feel like you are, like I said, they view you as the emperor or the empress. They know that you are a catch. They know that you're, they won't be able to replace you, okay? They, they know that finding some, them finding somebody like you was like kind of like taboo almost or something like that. Tell me more. Worth the fight. Yeah, they feel like you are worth the fight. This is very clear cut. Not giving up easily, wanting to conquer, fighting for your love. So just know that even if you guys reject this person's offer, that they're not going to give up on you. And Spirit says miracles are manifesting. 
Miracles are unfolding. Blessings are surrounding you. Luck is on your side. Yep, the wheel. The wheel is turning in your favor. Queen B, I'm telling you. A natural leader standing out from the rest. So Queen B, King B, whatever. <laughs> Stand, standing out from the rest. Ruler of, ruler of their heart. Mm -hmm. They want to pretend like you're not, but you are. All right? But it's getting to that point where they can't pretend anymore. But see, this person, this is how they view this relationship with you. Beauty and the Beast. Major differences. Feeling love life is cursed. Desperately looking for true love. They found that in you. But you were so different from what they were used to. They they don't think very much of themselves. They kind of think very low of themselves, guys. And they, they think very highly of you. And I feel like that's been making this person very... It's like they don't feel... They don't see how the two of you could work. Does that make sense? With who they are and who you are, that's what I keep saying. It's like they just, they didn't see this lasting long term because you're so different from them. They didn't see how the two of you guys were going to be able to have a long term relationship, although they they desired that with you. Because it's just I don't know how else to put it. But yeah, this person's about to get their life together. Clean up crew, cleaning up life, getting rid of distractions, making healthy choices. Yep, creating something out of nothing, reviving what was lost, alchemy. Mm -hmm. Oh, Spirit says that your 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 tears and your pain and your sadness and your heartbreak that you've been through has not been in vain. It's like the divine. If you thought that the divine had abandoned you, or they didn't, they didn't see your pain, or they didn't feel your pain, or they didn't see you crying, or they didn't, they don't, they didn't know your heartbreak. They do. Spirit says that there is an alchemy in that. It's like you're going to get back what you feel like you've lost a, a hundredfold. Like, I hope that that makes sense. Spirit's trying to show you that, yes, it hurts. And it, 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 this person has hurt you and it probably still hurts. But Spirit is sending you those signs and synchronicities to show you that you are not alone and that there's something that's going to manifest out of all of this. This purpose, you know, pain, this pain has a purpose, but everything that you're going through has a purpose and it's leading you to this big, it says big heart, genuine love, kind, loving, and generous can be trusted with your heart. Somebody that you will be able to trust with this is, it's this person come back with their shit together or a new person. We did have that king of cups, like this big heart card is giving me king of cups energy. Communication, conversation, need to clarify something, email, text messages, phone call. Somebody's going to communicate to you what they've been holding back. Somebody has a lot of love for you and they've not been telling you. They've been they've been holding this back from you. Trying to wear in this facade. Yeah, I need to clarify something. Email, text messages, phone call. Yep. Or somebody is about to realize, have an epiphany, just how deep they feel for you. Everything that they've been suppressing is going to come to the surface. And when it does, you will be hearing from this person. Wow. Forever yours. Unbreakable bond. Strong and stable relationship. A love to last a lifetime. Do I need to even pull any more cards? Yes, this person did put you in a third party situation and they definitely hurt you. Is this person, I know you guys are going to hate to hear this, but it's the person that you have this unbreakable bond with is this person that put you in this third party situation, this love triangle who possibly even cheated on you or they weren't just, they had options or they betrayed your trust in some way. We have blessed union here. Meant to be together. Love that transforms divine mission together. Spirit says this person's going to change and you guys may not be expecting this. You may be surprised by this. This person is about to have a shocking revelation. I don't know if this person also thinks that maybe with this heart of betrayal card, this could also be this person thinking that you're going to hurt them. Yep. But it was an illusion. What is um heart of betrayal? The study room studying you. See? Studying you, learning to love, getting to know each other. Tell me more. Strangely lonely. Isolation and journey alone, feeling lonely or abandoned. What does this have to do with that um the heart of betrayal okay that card really wanted to come out apparently Chival yeah offer of love what's the heart of betrayal mean for this person see unaware of admirers feelings like you're not aware you have no idea how deep this person fears feels feels for you they, they keep tabs on you they're studying you 
they're they're getting to know you better like they're they're trying to get information on you so what does that do with this person trick or treat see what about that two hearts falling in love see this person that's been playing these games or hasn't been very clear about their intentions it says they're falling in love the feeling is mutual i told didn't that already come out it's like they what you want they want too but why are they not giving it to you yeah, this is a divine love, but why they're starting to have a heart chakra activation. Why are they not doing it then? Why if they want the same thing as you? See, they feel pressured. Requires immediate attention, losing patience, feeling the pressure. Why aren't they doing it? Because they need to ground themselves. They need to get their shit together. Why are they not doing it? Right here waiting. It's, yeah, they just thought that you would they want you to wait on them until what? Until they, they change or go through. It's like until they like come up or they get their shit. It's until they get their shit together. I feel like this person has been um, waiting for you to come towards them. Why have they been. If they want this with you. Why are they not doing it? Mm, why are they not doing it? Left out in the cold. Yeah right. Emotional material loss. Why are they not doing it? If stuck. Delays and setbacks. Like what? It's like this person feels like they want this with you, but every time that it's like one, what is that? One step, two steps forward, 10 steps back or something like that. Like they feel like every time they try to like make progress in being with you or like having this with you, something happens. The moon, but it's, it's them. It's their own, it's their own self-imposed prison. They need to stop trying to deny this. This connection is not going anywhere. We have forever yours again, unbreakable bond. This is all it is, guys. Yes, they possibly do have another person. We see that already. Yes, they, there's all these other things that came out, but this is the biggest problem right here. Fears and insecurities. Things are not as they seem. There's more information to be revealed. What is that? Bottle up. I'm telling you, this person's been trying to hide. Yeah, holding back. Pent up emotions, calm and collected. So someone's going to end up revealing to you that... Yeah, reluctance to make an effort towards somebody that they view as their perfect match. Why did they, why were they pushing this away? Why were they pushing this away? Because there was something that they would have to give up, guys. I'm telling you. A difficult decision, aligning priorities. They would have to get their shit together. I'm else to put it. Must give up something to win. Yeah, they would have to give up. Sometimes Somebody, it's a person. See, others affecting the outcome, external factors, listening to other people's opinions. They would have to get rid of that to be with you. Or that's how they view the situation. But, um, yeah, it's like they need to cut off people in their circle that are, like, controlling. And they need to be become the master of their own life, like, shape their reality. They need to embrace new connections, their soul family. Spirit's so trying to get this person in alignment with their soul family, but to have their soul family, they gotta get, they gotta clean up. They gotta get rid of these toxic people, whether it's their family or their friends. But they've been resisting doing this, so that's why. There's some people or things that they need to release to be able to have this with you, but they have been very hesitant to release those people because maybe they feel like. They because they weren't sure if the two of you were temporary or long term. Does that make sense? They weren't sure if you were going to leave them behind one day. Like they 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 want they don't trust you. This person feels like you will hurt them, that you will break their heart. I know that that makes sense. And it's like while they were too busy trying to protect themselves from you, they put you and they hurt you, right? But Spirit is saying that this person, had, and it's like they've been trying to like hold back their the depth of their feelings and emotions from you, portraying themselves as like cold or aloof when they have a shit ton of emotions for you, emotions for you.